I'd like to teach you how to play Day Tripper by the Beatles. I'm tuned to E, E, B, E. Starts off on the low string, 0, 3, 4. And you'll notice I'm using my second and third fingers. For this lick, there's no notes on the first fret. So I move my hand into what's called second position. Just makes it easier. So once again, open 3, 4. Then open on the middle. Open on the high. Three on the middle. Open on the middle. Two on the high with my first finger. Open on the middle. Three on the middle. And then open on the high. I'll do that again. So if I leave my hand in second position, it makes it really easy. Because you do have to get pretty quick at it. And uh, you can use a pick or a thumb pick, whatever you want. I just happen to be using my fingers today. Uh, I find that's really handy for teaching because I can really mute the notes quick. So you can really see what I'm doing. All right, so it does that a bunch of times, four I think, and then the singing starts, I think it's another four times, I'm not quite sure, uh, and then it goes to the four chord, which is on the fifth fret, which we probably all know that by now. So we start up here with our first finger. Now here I do it a little different. I use my little finger on what is the eighth and ninth frets. Usually I slide, and then my hand goes back to the 5th fret, 5 on the middle, 5 on the high, so this would be, could be considered like 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 4, if you get what I mean, 0, 3, whoops, I skipped the 0, 0 on the high, 3 in the middle, zero and then two again now that's obviously not the numbers I just went through it like that so you can see it's the same pattern so we're just moving that pattern up the neck the actual numbers of course are five eight nine five five on the high string that's five on the middle first five on the high string three on the middle five on the middle then seven on the high string, then five on the middle, and three on the middle, and then five on the high string. Slide with the little finger. Now you can use your little finger there too, actually. I sort of switch back and forth between my third and my little finger. I think. Uh, the proper thing to do to strengthen your hand correctly is use your little finger there. But any way that you get it done is just fine. That's the most difficult part of the song, is getting that lick up to speed in that position. Go back to the main lick. Okay, now it gets really straightforward. We go down to an F sharp chord. I use the bottom two strings for this, and I use two fingers, and I'll show you why in just a few seconds. And it's just steady eighths, they call it. And I'm picking them with my thumb and my first finger, or you can just do down strokes. So one and two and three and four and, and there's a little hiccup in there where you sort of, you can lift up and hammer down. And then you do that again. And then you go up to A. Now, if you're new to playing and you have trouble with chords, you can just do a one finger chord on A, which is on the fifth fret. But it's actually an A7. And the way they do it is they play it once, one, and then they go steady on the eighths. And 
that's A7. This makes it a 7 over here because this is an A note and uh, a major 7 if we were playing jazz would sound like this. But we're not. We're playing rock and roll. So we use what's called the dominant or minor 7th. So that note there. So once again, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and down 1 fret to G sharp. 7. 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and. Then we go up to the ninth fret with the C sharp. 7 again. This is played a little bit differently if you go watch their videos and stuff like that. One. And it's still 2 and 3 and 4, but now it's a strum up and down. And then down to 2 frets to B7. And that's a strum, down, and then strumming. Down, up, down, up, down. And we don't do the last up. So this one up here on C sharp is one, two, and three, and four, and. And then we're down on B7. One, two, and three, and four. That gives us time to go back to the main lick. Like that. So that's the majority of the song. There's a bridge, it goes up to B. And for the and of course you could play it with your little finger on the seventh fret, and there's different ways of doing it. I'm not even gonna illustrate them. It'll just confuse the issue. The thing to do is remember your pattern from playing it in A, and you just play it in B. Sliding with your little finger, middle, high, that's all seven, middle. Three, well, sorry, not three, ten, seven, middle still, and nine on the high string, seven on the middle, ten on the middle, and then seven on the high string. It does that three times, and then it goes into a B7 chord. And there's three th uh, several things going on here. Uh, John Lennon, though, however, who we're kind of paying attention to at this point, if you go watch the live videos, he just downstrokes it, and not even that consistently, actually. I think he accidentally skips here and there. It's just not that important to be perfect, but he gets louder and louder. So it's like... And it's a total of six measures. So it's like this. One, two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, three, and two, and three, and four, and four, and two, and three, and four, and five, and two, and three, and four, and six, and two, and three, and four, and... Of course, done at the speed takes a lot less time. Um, and he just builds it up in volume. I'm not going to do that because you don't need to see me to strum this. What would that be? Six times eight. That's a lot of strumming. So anyway, that's what he does. Paul McCartney on the bass does a different rhythm. Almost like a shuffle. So if you didn't want to just bang away on your instrument, you could do that rhythm there. And, but... By the time he gets to the fourth measure, he's now doing it steady. George Harrison, however, is playing some uh, really cool lead parts, but they're out of the range of our instrument here and involve a lot of bending, so I'm not going to even look at those today. So you can choose to do the steady, building the volume, or you can choose to do more of a... bit more random rhythm and then build build into it whatever you do it's a total of six measures for that final build so three with the lick three of those and then six measures of one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and well i'm pretty sure you got the idea by now and then it's back to the beginning riff you remember the beginning riff Keep your hand in second position and it's really easy. So 
so you don't have to move your hand around at all. I hope you have fun with that. Have a great day. Bye.